How you guys doing? This is Job Wise Jones coming right back at you. As you guys know, I like to get right into it. I got an email last week. I'm sorry, Elaine, I'm a little late to respond to this email, but Job Wise, can you please do another video about the heart for our CCMA exam? Okay, here we go. Let's get right down to it. You guys know I don't like small talk. Boom, here we go. <sighs> the average heartbeat per minute. How many? How many average heartbeats are there per minute? This is the average, guys, okay? Just the average. So is it 60, 72, 90, or 120? 60, 72, 90, or 120. How many average heartbeats per minute, you guys? Come on. 72. If you said 72, you got it. Ding, 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 ding. How big is your heart? Mm -hmm. How big is your heart? Let me see. How big is my heart? Mm. Oh, it. Your heart is about the size of your fist. That's how big your heart is about. So my heart is about the size of my fist. Okay. All right. That's the size of your heart. It's about the size of your fist. Okay. Here's a Jeopardy question. A question you might see on Jeopardy. You ready? <laughs> What day of the week do many heart attacks happen? So what day of the week do many heart attacks happen? What day? What do you guys think what day? Think of maybe a Thursday? Maybe a Saturday? Hmm. What's the most stressed day you think of the week for you? Monday. Monday is when many heart attacks happen because... Sunday's going away. People wake up Monday into the stress again, right? They relax on Saturday and Sunday. Up comes Monday and boom, they got to go to work again. So that's a big deal. It's a very big deal. Okay, guys. So what does an EKG do, right? You guys know what it is. I know that. But what does an EKG do? It's real simple, guys, right? An EKG records electrical signals in your heart, okay? It records electrical signals in your heart, okay? So what are three reasons for an EKG? Now, just the top of your head, what do you think are the three reasons for an EKG? Why would someone have to have an EKG or should have an EKG, right? Why would they do that? Chest pain, for sure. Yeah, they, they've had chest pain. Uh, shortness of breath, dizziness, or fainting. That's all in one answer also. Or it could be irregular heartbeats. Those are good things to begin with an EKG to start off the whole heart process, a heart diagnosis process, right? Like what's going on with the patient, right? So three reasons for an EKG is because chest pain, SOB, dizziness, or fainting, and also irregular heartbeat, okay? That's why people typically would have an EKG or an EKG would be ordered for a patient, all right? Trick question. Can an EKG detect blockage? Mmm, that's a good one, right? Can an EKG detect blockage? Hmm. No, EKGs cannot detect blockage. So what do you use usually to find out if a patient has blockage? So it can't be an EKG. So what do you think other tests can they use, can you use with your doctor to ascertain if a patient has blockage? A couple of things I know from the top of my head would be a nuclear stress test for sure, right? That's a big one, right? and also the angiogram. Those things can really look into the heart and see what's going on down there, and they can also detect blockage. Uh, an EKG cannot do that. So there you go. So know those seven so far, okay, guys? Also, I wanna say, my gosh, I am getting hit with so many great emails now. People, you guys aren't commenting very much. You guys should comment. I'm making some really fun videos. Comment sometimes, but I'm getting great emails. I'm getting like six or seven every two or three days and for me it's a big deal because I used to get one a month when I first started last year <laughs> so I get six or seven emails about every two or three days and 
I've got so many videos I have to make now. It's great, you know? So you guys, I work about 11 hours a day and I do five days a week. I do sometimes some Sunday work too. Plus I got to bounce up my life with my wife, of course, and my and my family, you know? And so, but I do this because I love doing this, you know? I, I, I really feel like I'm giving something back. So this is what I do. And I think MAs need to have a strong voice, a professional voice, an educated voice, and maybe even an older voice, someone who's been around for a while, like myself, right? To represent the MA field. That's why I do this, okay? So please subscribe. Don't just stare at the video and go off somewhere. That's not good, because you gotta help us grow the channel, grow the family, join the family, right? If you like the video, if you like the video, hit like, please. I never ask you guys to hit like, no. Because the video might stink, right? So if you like it, hit like, okay? And also hit the comment bell for more for more videos. <laughs> I should be careful, right? <laughs> okay. Um, when it comes to the heart, what starts the heartbeat? What initially starts the heartbeat? What is that? What 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 is it? What starts the heartbeat? What is it? right? It's the S-A node. S-A-N-O-D-E. S-A node. Okay. All right. Here's a question for you. Blood flows from the right ventricle into the left ventricle, right atrium, pulmonary artery, or pulmonary vein. Those, that's a tough one. I know. Okay. So here's a question one more time, but slower for you. Blood flows from the right ventricle, ventricle, excuse me, into the left ventricle, right atrium, pulmonary artery, or pulmonary vein. It flows into the pulmonary artery. Okay, that's good. There we go, guys. Let's go. Tell me, you guys, you define for me, okay? You read the chart on Epic or handwritten, whatever chart you have. And you see bradycardia. And I'm asking you, what is bradycardia? That's my question I'm asking you. What is bradycardia? Is it when the heart's going too fast? Or, in the, or is it when the heart's going slower than normal? Or is it because Dr. Brady from 1945 understood when a heart beats five times a minute, it's called bradycardia? So again, what is it? So it's when a heart beats too fast, or is it when a heart beats too slow, or is it be from Dr. Brady from 1945 who understood the theory of a five-beat heartbeat? What is that you think? Bradycardia means slow heartbeat. Okay, you guys got it. Good job. <laughs> you guys are doing very good. Okay, um, how many chambers are in the heart? How many chambers? Two chambers, three chambers, four chambers, or five chambers? How many chambers are in the heart? Two chambers, three chambers, four chambers, or five chambers? How many? It's four chambers in the heart, okay? Bonus question, what are the names of these four chambers? I just said it a little bit ago, so you should know some of these, right? So what are the names of these four chambers? <laughs> right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle. That's the four chambers to the heart. Also, you guys, make sure you know how to spell them. I'll put them on the video here for you too, so you can make sure you get the spelling right because... They're going to ask you sometimes to check the spelling of these four words, right? And you got to know which one is wrong or which two are wrong or whatever. So make sure you understand how to spell these words. Now, when you guys are charting on Epic, it's nice and everything, but some Epic doesn't always give you the uh, word check, you know? So you got to know, you know, you should know anyway what how to spell the medical terminologies because you're medical assistants, okay? All right, I hope I've helped you out with more heart questions for the CCMA. I guarantee you some of these are gonna be on the test for sure in this exact fashion, no. But some of these questions will be on the test for sure. I 
Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. We are number three for MA specific videos. All right. All right, you guys, you have a great day. Bye-bye.